Project Orion, one of the best ideas I've ever heard for building a starship, one of the worst ideas I've ever heard for building a starship. Stay tuned to your friendly neighborhood rocket scientist to find out why. Now, there is something we could do today, but I hope and pray we never do it. Okay? It's called Project Orion. Has anybody heard of Project Orion? All right. Take yourself back in time. Late 1950s, early 1960s. What was the big geopolitical conflict of the day? The Cold War. We, were, we had a missile gap. Everybody was building hydrogen bombs. Those of you who are under about 40 don't remember living under the threat of 22,000 H-bombs aimed at you to go off. It was really bad. And people were thinking we were going to be fighting wars in space. Okay? So they said, how do we build a rapid, essentially, battleship for space? And a group of people, one of whom included uh, a fellow named Freeman Dyson, who you may have heard of, famous for Dyson Spheres, which is a whole other topic. He was a part of a team that was funded by the government to develop essentially a space warfighting battleship. And they came up with an idea that should work. And that idea was, if you, can, if you take a, um, imagine this, this is not their design, this is how I describe it. Imagine taking a submarine sealed spacecraft, and instead of like this in the water, you stick it like this. And on the bottom of it, instead of the propellers, you take something the size of this hotel made out of steel, and you put this underneath it. And below that, once every three seconds, you detonate a hydrogen bomb. Oh. Okay? What would happen? Boom, boom, boom. You would start moving. Those are technical terms. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> okay? And it would get you to space. And if you continued doing that out to about the orbit of Mars going faster and faster, you could get a speed fast enough to get you to Alpha Centauri in about 100 years. Okay? Now, you would destroy the Earth's ecosystem <laughs> while you're doing this. Not a good thing, right? Not a good thing. 